The following frontalis suspension ptosis procedure was performed using TOSUP, a new material made of an expanded, porous Teflon type material available from FCI Ophthalmics. TOSUP has many advantages over other available materials for frontalis suspension. It is easy to work with and easy to place. TOSUP is a low profile, inexpensive alternative to fascia lata. Additionally, TOSUP is biointegratable for long term stability. Markings are placed 2 mm above the lash line and above the eyebrow. The central brow mark is placed 1 cm above the brow and is centered over the pupil. The eyelid incisions correspond to the medial and lateral limbus. The remaining two brow incisions correspond to a point halfway between the limbus and canthus, respectively. Stab incisions are made through skin down to the tarsus. The three brow stab incisions are made into the frontalis muscle. With the medial incision, care is taken not to penetrate too deeply, as this is the region of the supraorbital nerve. A small pocket is bluntly dissected above the central incision to bury the toe-sup knot. A corneal protector is placed. The toe-sup may be soaked in antibiotic solution if the surgeon chooses. The material is thin and does not stretch. The right fascia needle is placed in the suborbicularis plane between the two eyelid incisions. The toe-sup is then threaded through the needle and pulled through the incisions. Toe-sup should not be handled with tooth forceps. Care is also taken not to pierce the toe-sup material as the needle is threaded through the remaining incisions. Toe-sup is easily handled with fingertips or non-tooth forceps. A hemostat can also be used. Toe-sup from the medial and lateral brow incisions is then brought through the central incision. The toe-sup material is then tightened so that the eyelid is as high as possible without coming off of the globe. A 6-0 proline suture is placed under the first knot and the first knot is tied. The lid height and contour can still easily be adjusted at this point. The proline suture is then tied to secure the first knot in the toe-sup and prevent the material from slipping. A second knot is then tied in the toe-sup, forming a square knot. The ends are then trimmed to approximately 3 mm length. The cut ends can then be easily tucked into the previously made pocket. The incisions are then closed with simple interrupted suture. We prefer 6-0 plain gut. The final eyelid height can be inspected at this point. It is normal to see lag ophthalmus at the conclusion of surgery, so antibiotic ointment is placed over the eye.